Hello everyone, welcome to A plus PI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a complex equation. In other words, the solution will be a complex number. If there's a solution, is there a solution? Are you sure about that? Let's go ahead and find out. So we have z divided by z plus i equals 3 plus 4i. You know, in some cases we don't have solutions. You can check them out. I'll be presenting, I was initially planning to present two solutions, but then I thought about a third alternative, but, you know, let me just talk about it. Okay, let's start with the first method. So I'm thinking, because we have z plus i at the bottom, why don't I multiply by something like z minus i? Because that kind of reminds me, oh, difference of two squares, or should I say sum of two squares? Because this basically gives us z squared minus iz in the numerator. In the denominator, this gives me z squared plus i squared, but that's z squared minus, I mean z squared minus i squared, which is z squared plus one. Almost like, un, uh, did, anyways, negated twice. Okay, that was a mistake. And this is supposed to equal three plus four i. Nice. This method is probably gonna work, but it's gonna be a lot of work. Are you ready to dive in? Let's get it z squared minus iz. Now I gotta multiply this by that. Let's do it. z squared minus iz equals uh, 3z squared plus 4iz squared plus 3 plus 4i. And now I gotta put together uh, the z squared and uh, everything else. z squared 1 minus 4i will be the coefficient of z squared, if I bring it over here, and then we have a 3z, if you subtract it, you're going to get something like one, uh, 3 plus i, I meant to write 3 plus i, not i plus 3, times c, I brought this here, this is taken care of, this is taken care of, and that should equal that, but I'd like to bring that as well, okay, you know what, I want to make this a full quadratic equation, and guess what's interesting about the quadratic equation, it has two solutions, but when we talk about other methods, you'll realize what I'm talking about, okay? I don't want to spoil the surprise. So from here, um, you can find the solutions, but let's find the discriminant because we can just plug it in after simplifying, right? B squared, I can square the negative, right? Negation, minus 4AC. All the coefficients are complex numbers, and this double negation will turn it into a plus. Okay, that's my delta. Let's go ahead and simplify it. As you know, delta is important, 9 minus uh, plus i squared, which is minus 1, plus 6i. And then here, I kind of need to multiply, simplify, and then multiply by 4. So why don't we do it all together? That's going to be fun. This is negative 16i squared, which is plus 16. 3 plus 16 is 19. And 4 times 19 is 76. Great, right? And then we're going to do the i's. Negative 12i and 4i. That's going to give us negative 8i and negative 32i, right? Now, if you simplify this, that's going to be 84 minus 26i. How nice. Is there a common factor? I don't think so, except for 2. But 2 is not a very good number. I was looking for a perfect square. Anyways, we can do the following. Write the solutions, okay? Z equals, by the quadratic formula, negative b, which is 3 plus i, plus minus the square root of 84 minus 26i, divided by... 2a, which is 2 minus 8i. By the way, a is not 1. Be careful. The coefficient of z squared is a. Okay? So far, so good. Now, this should give us the solutions about what is the square root of, in other words, I should say, what are the square roots of 84 minus 26i? Because it has two square roots. One of them is the principal square root. I think the one with the positive real part. Am I correct? I hope so. Anyways, so from here, you should be able to find it. But how do you find the square root of this number? Let's talk about it for a little bit. Well, if you're trying to find the square root of a complex number, of course, it's also a complex number. You can set it equal to a plus pi, which is also the name of this channel. By the way, I have another channel, which is called Cyber Math, where I do videos on number theory and algebra, and once in a while, geometry. If you have a really good geometry problem, let me know, and I'll try to make it. So what do we do next? Square both sides, right? Let's do it. Square and square. If you square the right-hand side first, a squared minus b squared plus 2abi 
equals 84 minus 26i from here i get this equals 84 and this equals 26 or negative 26 which means a b is negative 13 so on and so forth this gives you a solution i mean a system where you can solve for real solutions because a and b have to be real but you see how painful that is but put a little comma because we'll get back to this we'll talk about something important okay here's the second method which is a little less painful hopefully okay so the second method uh, basically uses the name of this channel which is i plus pi replaced by the way the first idea anyways let me not talk about it because we'll get back to it later a plus pi over a plus pi plus i which gives me a plus b plus one i and now i can go ahead and do the conjugates right multiply by the conjugate which is a minus b plus 1i, a minus b plus 1i. Of course, this is going to give me sum of two squares. In the numerator, that's going to give me a gigantic stuff, right? <laughs> Crazy things. But if you distribute, you should be getting a squared. From here, you should be getting plus b times b plus 1. Of course, that's no, there's no i. And then you have this, a, b, i, and then... Uh, minus a times b plus 1 multiplied by I'll do it next, okay? Divided by a squared plus b plus 1 squared, and that should equal 3 plus 4i. Great. Now, here, this is a b minus a b minus a, so it's just going to be minus a i, like artificial intelligence, and then this will be minus, of course, come on, minus a i will be divided by the whole thing. Uh-oh. This is too much work, isn't it? Even the second method. <laughs> Look at this. It's probably worse than the first. Who knows? Now, you're going to go ahead and uh, compare the real parts with real parts in imaginary. Or if you want to multiply like this and compare it that way, that's fine too. But I'll, I'm going to leave it as an exer exercise for you because I need to get on with the third method real quick. Okay? Trust me, it's going to be real quick. So hang in there. Stick around. Okay? Now... How do we find z from here easily, like a piece of cake? What's the piece of cake method? Give me that. Why is it not the first method? Well, the first method is called no pain, no gain most of the time. Anyways, if you know of the fourth method, let us know. I'm going to cross multiply directly because why not? And then distribute. 3z plus 4iz plus 3i minus 4. And then we can kind of put together all the z terms. Like this is going to give me 2z or 2 plus 4i multiplied by z. And this we can put on the other side by negation, 4 minus 3i. And then finally, we can divide both sides by this. How nice, right? And then use the conjugates to get the answer right away. Wait a minute. Now I need to go back to the first method. With the first method, you were trying to solve or I was trying to solve or maybe someone else. Who knows? A quadratic and which it has two solutions. How come now you end up with a single solution? That's for you to look at, okay? That's for you to answer. Why do we get two solutions? Probably we introduced extra any solutions, but I could be wrong. Anyways, if you do this, if, and I, if I'm not mistaken, the answer should be the following. You can also write it separately, but no big deal. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.